All right, so I wanted to give you a close-up view of the brick too, just so you can see kind of how it looks like up, up close, because this is how you'll be seeing it, because your heads will probably be pretty close to the drawing. So um, you can see uh, all the, the way that the pencil barks are looking. Um, I'm gonna keep putting more detail into some of these here. You can see too how my pencil's moving. See how that works, giving it that more detail. And you can actually take your finger too and see what that does as well. You know what, and actually let's just do this. Let's just see what it does for us. This actually makes it easier to do that reductive method too that I was using before. See how that kind of smooths things out a little bit? Now there's still some rough detail that's actually fine because this is actually this is rock, so it's very porous. It means it has lots of little holes and little imperfections and things that you're gonna see. Remember, pay no attention to that light. <laughs> That's just a reflection caused by how shiny this pencil makes it look. So. If we look at our old picture, it actually is quite dark on the edge. So that's going to be darker than the rest. See how many like layers I'm putting on here? I mean, it, it, I can't stress it enough. Like, it, this stuff doesn't happen right away. I mean, you build up gradually to like these dark values that we're looking at. Instead of going straight to dark and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's too dark. Now I gotta erase because it's it's harder to erase when it's darker like that. So if you go gradually, you're more likely to get the value that you're looking for. All right, and like I said. We use our finger to smooth everything out. It's actually easier to use that reductive method. So, I mean, if we look at our our actual drawing, drawing, or this the photograph, there are some areas that are lighter. You know, like there's there's these little white highlights here, a white high here. There's a highlight here, even up top here. There's a highlight, and those are the kinds of things you can you can achieve using that reductive method. Again, I'm just going to use my eraser, my regular old. Number two pencil eraser. I'm gonna go in there, create those little white areas. And it's actually not that bad. And actually you could use this one too. Yeah, that actually works better. That works better. See how that works? Getting those light areas. And again, do it from observation. Really look at the drawing itself to figure out where you're going to put those strategic, strategic, or st uh, according to strategy, white areas. Really starting to get there, huh? Well, I'm going to move on to the next area in here, the next area of detail, and. Uh, Hopefully this will kind of get you guys on your way uh, if you have a drawing with brick pattern in it.